Hey guys, welcome back. So I have half of my face done. Today we are going to be recreating the look from this side of my face using all Too Faced products. Um, so I'll tell you what I already did. I did my Too Faced Hangover RX Primer, followed by the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. In case you're curious, I have it in the shade Warm Nude. And then this side of my face already has some other stuff done, so we will recreate on as we go. Now I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. And... Now I'm using the Too Faced Perfect Flush Blush. This is in Candy Glow. It's the Sweethearts Blush. It's a really pretty, like, peachy, peachy shimmery blush. And then, for my highlighter, I'm going into the Too Faced Stardust Palette and just using a little tapered highlighting brush from Jessup. And I'm going to use this color called Selfie. It's like a really um, shimmery whitish color with a slight pink undertone. So I'm using that as my highlighter. I did already prime my eyes using my MAC Paint Pot and Painterly and I did my brows with my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in Brunette. So, um, that is it for the cheeks. Let's go on to the eyes. The first color I'm going to lay down is from the Stardust Palette. It's called Millennial and it is just a really nice like transition shade. That's one thing that the next palette we're going to use does not offer. So that's why I'm using Millennial from this palette. To me, for an eyeshadow palette to be a good palette, it really needs to have a transition shade. And if it doesn't, I'm going to have to pull from a different kit. So that is why we're doing that. Now I'm using the Too Faced Sugar Pop palette. This is Macaron. It's that peachy color. It's a little bit shimmery. And I'm just going to use a standard eyeshadow brush and tap that on the lid. It is like a shimmery orangey peach, shimmery coral kind of color. Very pretty, but it's a little bright. Who am I kidding? A lot of the colors in this palette are very bright, but it, you can make it wearable. Then I'm using Malted Milk Ball, this dark brown color, and the Sigma E55 Eye Shading Brush. It's just a dense, stubby brush, and I'm putting that here on the outer corner and in the crease. And I'm kind of making it more accentuated here. Now this is a shimmery brown, so you have to be careful. So I'm going back in with the original brush. This is the Jessup Tapered Blending Brush, and I'm blending that out. A mixture of the two tannish colors. They are both shimmery. Um, so if you don't like shimmery brow bone shades, you may not like it. I'm going to put that on the brow bone and on the inner corner of the eye. Now I'm using the Makeup Geek Soft Dome Brush, and I'm just going to use no product on this and blend. Now I'm using the Tarte um, Eyeliner in Plum, just on the lower lash line. I'm using the Bare Minerals Bare Skin um, Concealer too, and the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder under my eyes, in case you were curious, I didn't mention that. Um, for eyeliner, I'm actually wearing like a coral and a blue striped skirt. And so I wore a blue necklace and blue earrings. So I'm going to do blue liner um, just to break up all the coral on my face. And I don't think it looks that blue. Like if you were looking at me, could you tell that my liner was blue? No. But I just think it's more interesting than black. So this liner is Kat Von D's um, Ink Liner in Baudelaire. It's a navy. Now I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara to the top and bottom lashes. For lips, I'm using the Too Faced Melted uh, Liquid Lipstick in Melted Coral. Pretty bright, huh? Then 
Then I'm going on top of that with the Tarte um, Lip Surgeon's Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Tipsy. I find the Tarte lipstick just a little bit drying, so that helps. Sorry if my hair is crazy. I have the fan on. It's actually really hot in here. I think it's all the lights. Alright, I'm just setting my face. Oh, I forgot my powder. I'm using the Too Faced Primed and Poreless um, Skin Smoothing Priming Powder and Finishing Veil. Just a light translucent, oof, translucent powder. Just to set everything. Using MAC Fix Plus to set it all. Alright, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.